The draft may look different, but the dreams remain the same. Tonight, 60 young men realize their lifelong ambitions of reaching the NBA. For organizations, it's the moment of truth, as months of preparation hopefully yield a franchise changer. Also different this year, drama at the top of the board, with the number one pick still very much a mystery, but likely to come from a three-man pool of intriguing young talents. Oh, and the prospects aren't the only players on the move during this very busy week. We'll keep a close eye on any big names who might be changing jerseys as the night progresses. This is the 2020 NBA Draft presented by State Farm right here on NBA TV. I think it's going to be the wild, wild west when draft night comes. I want this kid Anthony Edwards. I like James Wiseman. Obi Toppin. The LaMelo Ball. This kid is not the number one pick. Some guys are going to be looking out for their job. Got Talent-wise, complete stuff. Oh! Now you've got our attention. When I'm in my zone, ain't no way you're stopping me. I do it with ease. This my expertise. They're ready-made stars walking into the NBA. With the first pick. I handle this. Let's begin, Forty-six days later than planned, draft night has finally arrived. Our heads are spinning with stories and possibilities, and imagine what it must be like tonight in the draft headquarters of the Timberwolves, the Cavaliers, the Atlanta Hawks, who have the sixth pick, and the New Orleans Pelicans, who have already remade their roster with a big trade this week. It's all stuff we'll touch on tonight during our wall-to-wall -wall draft coverage. Welcome in, everybody. It is draft night here from Atlanta. Glad to have you with us. Uh, I'm Matt Weiner. As you know, Commissioner Adam Silver has set up shop tonight in Bristol, Connecticut at ESPN headquarters. That's where ESPN will broadcast the picks, of course, throughout the draft. We're here for you for all kinds of conversation, for news stories as they break, and we've had plenty of them here already. Uh, let's introduce some of the folks who will be joining us throughout the night. The fifth pick of the 1991 NBA draft, Steve Smith is with us. Brendan Haywood also on board. Uh, draft pick number 20 in 2001, Andy Katz, sadly undrafted out of the University of Wisconsin, is here with us as well. And guys, you know, uh, unlike a lot of years, we don't know definitively who this number one pick is going to be. So I'll put it to the three of you, starting with you, Smitty. Um, not necessarily who the Timberwolves should pick, but who is the best player available? I think, first of all, Matt, I was waiting for you to give me a hat the way you sounded sound <laughs> like you. I was really getting drafted. But first of all, congratulations to all these youngsters getting a chance to fulfill their dream. I mean, it's unbelievable. Then we started to look at best player. The one thing is you look at these three guys as potential to have the number one pick, uh, LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman. They're all 19 years of age, yep. extremely young. But when I look at for me, pound for pound, because of the style of the way the NBA is played right now, you know, I'm leaning toward Anthony Edwards, 6'5", 19 years old, 225, 42-inch vertical, 6'10", wingspan. I'm leaning toward Anthony Edwards, but you cannot go wrong. If it was 10 years prior, I'd probably go with James Wiseman because it was more of a big man's game. And unfortunately, I'm rooting for all big men, as I strangely <laughs> say. Because I like old school basketball, throwing it down in the post. I wanted us to get back to that. but And LaMelo Ball, he just has a great feel. But pound for pound for me, the best player I think is Anthony Edwards. 